What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here on this Tuesday evening about 8.05 p.m. West Coast time here on September 29th, 2020. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the presidential debate there. Just ended a few months ago. All I, A few months ago. A few minutes ago. All I can say is I have a major headache now after sitting through that whole thing. And that's that's a level of politics that I'm going to right there. That's as far as I'm going. And uh, that's it. Getting over to the earthquake activity here around the globe. Uh, showing the latest quake. Over here around the Puerto Rico area, 2.8 there in the cluster of quakes that they've been having throughout the day today. Of course, this is pretty much average quakes uh, during any given day out here, it seems like, around the Puerto Rico area. Just a hot spot of... Uh, uh, quakes on pretty much every day it seems like so uh, for the most part here around the globe here not a whole lot of renewed activity over here towards the west looks like a little 5.1 there near the uh, Fiji Islands area or just south of there west coast is still kind of on target there for um, for activity over here around the Mediterranean though kind of seeing a new earthquake out there a little 4.3 this is kind of outside of that area where we were seeing um, earthquake activity around the northeast part of Greece over there or at least a ways away from Greece there towards the northeast near the uh, Aegean Sea this out here towards the Mediterranean now uh, and, and activity has calmed down there uh, compared to what we had seen um, over the past few days or so so new Kind of new uh, movement there. West Coast is the uh, seems to be the hot spot at the moment once again. Not any major quakes taking place out there, folks. Uh, there in California, but uh, you know, definitely some notable, uh, interesting activity up here along the Calaveras Fault System or just off of it. I actually got the uh, what is this one, the Hayward Fault, and then you got the Calaveras here. These two can kind of be. Uh, um, connected at some point there um, maybe affecting each other if we do get a bit a big quake out here a little uh, little connection between those two plates there or those two uh, fault systems but uh, the activity tonight there on the Calaveras fault system you kind of see that little cluster of quakes over the last 24 hour period nothing big uh, I think the largest there was at 3.3 near Milipedes uh, at a depth of about 4.6 kilometers. Most of these quakes look to be about the same uh, level below the ground there. And some migration of activity well up here towards the uh, northeast by about oh, about 10 miles or so. A little fault system I've never really heard of. Las Positas Fault, it looks like. A couple small quakes there. 2.2 and a 2.1 there. This uh, south of Pleasanton and the Livermore area. Uh, but still, generally within the Bay Area, we're seeing a little uptick still in activity. A little small quake along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault here. That's this dark red line there indicating the plate boundary of the North American and Pacific Plate. And regionally over here around Nevada, still seeing Still seeing just a cluster there, folks. Uh, nothing has really changed there. No major migration, a little sporadic activity up there towards the north. But overall, average aftershock sequences going on there in that part of Nevada. Ridgecrest still seeing their aftershocks. And um, down here towards the south here. Continued activity on the San Jacinto Fault area. Um, no more swarming over here around the Salton Sea. We did see a couple quakes there last night a couple small ones that looks like it has mellowed out and died down a small little quake at least the most recent one there right smack dab on the the uh, san andreas fault system there kind of the southern section it's only a 0.9 but still a little bit of movement all it takes is a just a little jolt right just a little pebble or a little little crack of a stick so to speak uh, to possibly set that San Andreas fault off. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. Uh, for now, a little microquake taking place there at about 12 kilometers below the surface there on the southern section of the San Andreas fault.
up here in the north a little bit of activity outside of Mount Shasta not at the summit and definitely some microquakes there at about three to five kilometers below the surface this is about uh, oh about three miles or so from the Mount Shasta summit there uh, up here to the north I don't believe we're seeing any more uh, more than average I would say as far as the earthquake activity goes around the summit area of Mount Rainier some microquakes going on up there and uh, that's, that's pretty much about it over there around the uh, the volcano so to speak and yeah pretty uh, relatively quiet I would say folks Oklahoma though was booming earlier I seen quite the cluster of quakes over here and they're still kind of kicking off a little bit northwest of Pawnee Oklahoma over there in the uh, Plain States Go ahead and zoom in here to the satellite view and check out the specifics of where this cluster have taken is taking place. Uh, of course, we got here. Definitely, it looks like there's some fracking operations and whatnot going on there, but within this specific area, I'm not seeing any. At least according to this uh, to this map there that the USGS uses. Just a little handful of quakes here at about five kilometers below the surface. Uh, looks like the biggest one at 2.3 there. And once again, about 13 kilometers northwest of Pawnee, Oklahoma. And um, let's see where this go over here. Drain. So yeah, relatively quiet, folks. I mean, not a whole lot going on out here. That's a good thing. Uh, no more renewed activity there in South Africa region. Looks relatively quiet. Interesting enough, though, that uh, would bring us to the uh, um, this day in earthquake history, which we'll cover here in just a minute. Uh, the Calaveras fault system. I was kind of looking at some information there on that specific fault system and the capabilities that um, that you know, far as like large magnitudes that could occur on this area where we're seeing um, the activity near the Bay Area. Looks like 6.5 uh, back in 1911 occurred there. And uh, the most recent of these was a magnitude 6.2 Morgan Hills back in 1984. Uh, so definitely some activity that can occur on this specific fault. Once again, it's a major pressure um, reliever when it comes to the North American and the Pacific Plate. The San Andreas Fault sits off to the west. Uh, and then when the San Andreas Fault doesn't move, this area here to the east gets all, the, uh, gets all that pressure built up there. And that's kind of what we're seeing there. With the uh, release of pressure in the in the 3.0 range there on the Calaveras fault system, but uh, definitely it's got some capabilities of producing some large quakes here in that area. Uh, let's see what else was I going to cover here. Yellowstone National Park, real quick. It's still pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of activity at all, folks. I mean, uh, abnormally quiet. But then again, we could see months and months of no earthquake activity at all in the park there, and then have a swarm kick up all of a sudden so quiet is the key at the moment and far as trimmer goes that's kind of a different story I'm kind of surprised when I keyed up this activity tonight uh, 237 epicenters ramping up out here along the Cascadia subduction zone on a large broad scale all the way from Northern California down there at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone there the Juan de Fuca plate subducting uh, underneath the North American plate here. These are trimmers being picked up by some pretty sensitive equipment there. Uh, definitely not like earthquakes, a uh, kind of slow slippage uh, between that uh, between those two plates there. So all the way from Northern Cal, the southern end, all the way up to uh, looks like just outside of Seattle there, a large increase, the largest increase um, it looks like for the most part um, of all of these. A pretty good Pretty good cluster of quakes, folks. Or uh, not quakes, I keep <laughs> I keep saying quakes, but trimmers out here on a broad scale for sure. Uh, last night, I don't think we seen anything last night. And then the night before that uh, was just pretty much uh, just some sporadic activity. But not tonight. We're, we're definitely amping things up out there uh, with some trimmer. As that map 
is showing right there. Once again, 237 epicenters there just today. So this day in earthquake history is uh, brings up quite a few large quakes um, on this specific day, September 29th, 2009, an 8.1 magnitude quake uh, near the Samoa Islands there. Pretty large quake. That's uh, definitely a big one. Uh, let's see, nearly there are quite a few fatalities, unfortunately, in that as well. Nearly all of the casualties and damage was caused by a large tsunami uh, with run up heights of about 12 meters. And uh, that's a pretty big one. Whenever we see an 8.0 magnitude quake, I, you know, pretty much anywhere out there in the ocean, unless it's super deep, unless it's way down there, uh, we're looking at a potential tsunami. When it comes to that type of magnitude there, they did a double take here with that, 8.1 there, 2009. Uh, back in 1993, a 6.2 in India. Uh, pretty good sized quake there, and a lot of, lot of fatalities, unfortunately, there. Uh, looks like 9,748 people there. Uh, lost their lives, which is really unfortunate. Um, but that's a that's a pretty big quake in a little in an area where uh, you know it's pretty pretty uh, sensitive there when it comes to communities and houses and whatnot. Uh, the big one that we talked about over there in South Africa, um, 6.3. We talked about this a couple nights ago there. Um, but yeah, on this date, back in 1969, is when that M6.3 there hit the Cape Town area. 6.3 magnitude quake there stands to be the largest one within that region the 6.2 or 6.1 that struck there a few days ago was well off the coast of south africa by about six to seven hundred miles to the south uh, but that that one right there a big one a big uh, shaker there for those folks around the cape town area uh, it's just centered northeast of cape town uh, a few fatalities in there as well Many uh, homes and businesses left in ruins there. 1969, um, big some big quakes, or at least big quake there for that area. Anyway, folks, I have a headache. I'm gonna probably pop some ibuprofen and um, call it a night. I, like I said, I got a major headache, and I just I, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's it's uh, not good. Anyway. I try to keep politics and whatnot out of the chat and off of the channel. Just not uh, not good to bring that in there. But I will say I have a headache, and I think we all can agree on that for sure. Anyway, have a good night, folks. We're out of here. Um, stay safe out there.